Not a bad idea, actually. Man, it's the only solution that I can think of. We just need pirates. I just don't know how. How can we turn one man into multiple pirates? That's the question. Miss Rivers? Yes, Mr. Threepwood. I'd like to take another whack at becoming a transmodified pirate. Well, what for, dearie? You already passed the class. Well, I know, but I feel a relapse coming on. All right, a vest, ye swabs. Uh, see? Oh, you poor man. Take a seat and we'll be. I didn't know that you could actually do this again. Welcome back. I can three. Let's begin. Yang, yang. Yes, ma'am. You see a man accosting another with a sword. I'll make a miss. Good. Now then. Yes, Miss River. While reading a book of poetry in the library. I am. No. Now, Mum. Yeah. F. I. Good. Oh, Guy Bra. Yes. A scruffy looking stranger offered. I just say no to Grog. I. See. Mungo. Yes, sir. Your tofu. I. See. I. And Yang. Yes. Your cat. I feel a small. Hmm. I'll. Mungo. Yes, ma- A member? I- I wrote a dirty limerick about her on the restroom. I see. I now see. Now, young. Yes, ma'am. While delivering Christmas- I hail the captain of the passing vessel. Hmm. And finally, miss- Yes? A stranger approaches you and asks- Let's see, politely inform- I then. politely inform the stranger of the correct time. Okay. Well, I've added up all- Mungo and Yang. Rats. And then we- Guybrush, you've renewed your certificate. Now get out! Great. We renew it. Do the same thing. That was pointless. Ugh. More wenches. I think we're getting off track here. Let's get back to. It's the boat I brought from Jambalaya Island. Trademark. Now, how are we? Apparently, I can land on this beach. Huh. Cool. I'm completely clear. If it isn't the master of the mechanical manatee. Careful there. Don't want to scare the customers. With what? I was just looking at my inventory. Unless you're worried about the uh, abomination of nature. Don't worry about it. I only use it in certain situations. Oh, I made these. Set sail for family fun at Planet Threepwood. See souvenirs. Stop your sales pitch. You're embarrassing yourself. It's the machine that dispenses all the Star Buccaneers fa- Welcome to Star- Can I- I'd like a coffee drink. Excellent. I'll have whatever tastes the most grog-like. That would be our ice- I'll have one of those then. Still offering that free- You betcha, sir. Yeah, free- Can't get enough again. Uh, just get me my grog- Alrighty. Uh. Have a nice day. And yeah, sure. Never. What, I sh what I'm trying to do here is to sober up Carla with coffee. Not sure if this will work, but, you know. Oh, I made ease. Set try. sail for family fun at Planet Threepwood. How about, mm, near? Like a huge, big. Just only trying to get the silver mug from there. Not for the family fun stuff. If it isn't the master of the mechanical manatee. The 
is gonna take something a lot more powerful than this to sober her up. Darn. I wonder what the uh, more powerful would be. I don't think that would help anything. Darn. I'll be trying it again. What am I even supposed to do with this? Other than make it the parrot drunk. I don't think that would help anything. Give me the glue. I don't think that would help anything. Gragachino is not enough. <laughs> if a Gragachino is not enough, I wonder what will be. I mean, Frappuccinos and such have doubled the caffeine, usually. They're very powerful. Ladies and gentlemen, madames and messieurs. Have another blind, non spoilery idea. Do tell. I also still need to figure out how to color the mug gray. So I can exchange the mug in Planet 3 wood. Oh, this pathfinding is so bad. Pour the Crocodino into the big mug and keep getting it refilled until you get a whole huge mug of it. That actually is a good idea. Really, really good idea. That's the pirate light town I arrived at. That's the pirate light town I arrived at. Let's see. I don't think that would help anything. Darn. You won't combine them. I don't think that would help anything. Yeah, won't work. Good idea, though. I really like that idea. <sighs> oh well. Real pirates don't play volleyball. Of course, the hooks and eye patches tend to keep them away from most sports that place an emphasis on inflatable balls and acute depth perception. I can't use this. Hi, Otis. What? Carla's drunk. Good for her. I wish I could join her. Why aren't you with Carla? Because someone has to stay while uh, me. It just. Will you try to stay out of trouble this time? How much trouble could I get into walking on a dock? I shudder to think. Besides, uh -huh. I'm not sure I want to go into town. This island. Get... Carry on. That's what I was trying. How did I guess this, you ask? Well, it matched the style of every puzzle in this damn place. So tedious that it hurts. All the better to force you to endure the same terrible jokes over and over again. Mm hmm? Yeah. yeah. Makes sense. Also, in that way. Forces you to do things over and over again until you achieve your goal. Seems like a theme in this game, doesn't it? Just do the same things over and over again, and at one point you will achieve your goal. Which will be not satisfactory. Who cares about this person? Okay, let's really start thinking. All this talk of grog makes me hankering for some British grog. I.E. tea. The okay. So, how do we make this gray? Let's start with that one. I don't think that would help anything. That's a good idea, but I think it would be easier to put the glue on whatever I want to stick to it. Ah. I don't think that would help anything. 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 So we need something to stick to it. Make it grog great again. Uh. I wonder if I can burn the caricature that I'm still carrying. I'm out of here! You're welcome. Uh, 
I don't really want to show this off. I want you to burn it. I don't really want to show this off. I really, really want to get rid of this. I don't think so. It looks really heavy. I'm not picking that up. I can't use this. Apparently you can't. Even though I'm trying. Anything over here? Oh. Oh. Encore! Oh. Now you're just being obstinate. What's important here is... Scratching! Now you're just being obstinate. What's important here is... I am all out of ideas. I'm not picking that up. I even haven't Bruh! seen now anything that would look like a silvery poster with a monkey on it that we could use to our benefit. Have you? Have I missed something obvious? There must be something obvious that I've missed. Guybrush, will you stop turning around all the freaking time? Where do the real pirates go? They're just looking for buccaneer style pixel. family dining at a reasonable 20. price. Why, Planet Creepwood, of course. Come on in and taste our world famous Guybrush Burger. I'm so excited. I just can't hide it. I'm about to lose control and I think. I like it. Da, 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 da. Where do the real pirates go when they're looking for buccaneer style fam? Oh, let's at least start this. Let's go talk to the judges around here. See if we can certify ourselves to be a diver. It's a golden trophy of a man in a classic arms overhead diving pose. I think they're the diving judges. Excuse me. Hey, hey, little dude. What's up? Hi, dude. You look weird. But then again, all of you them look weird. Nice trophy. <laughs> Isn't it a trip? It is awarded to the winner of the All World Prank Diving Contest. Ah, prank diving. Mm -hmm. Not racist at all. Mm -mm, no, no. What's going on around here? We are the judges for Jambaraya's All World Diving Contest. Actually, it's more like a free-for-all than a contest. Dude, quit projecting your negative vibes, man. What the hell's wrong with your mouth? Can I take a closer look at that trophy? Are you kidding? Oh, only the winners of the all-world prank diving contest are allowed to touch the trophy. And, I'm supposed, I, and also, that's supposed to be trophy if you want to go real racist. I'm sorry, real, a leery latest. I'm a rocking for the ultimate insult. I'm looking for the ultimate insult. Hey, is that a variation on the flying finger man? Or perhaps the rolling Regis? No, it's an ancient voodoo talisman of indescribably horrible power. Look, Junior, we're diving judges. We know as much about voodoo as you do about astrophysics. Are you supposed to be Scottish or Irish? Can't really tell. I'd like to take a crack at winning that diving trophy. You and dozens of other gold-hunting wannabes. If you wish to dive, you must be certified first. Why? We could leave ourselves open to most grievous lawsuits if we let physically uncool people try to dive. 
Now, if you'll just step behind the table... There won't be any word problems, will there? Hey, what are you doing with that? Please turn to the right, dude. You're not gonna put that there, are you? Now then, let me know when this begins to hurt. What the heck are they doing? Ouch! Why is there a cow? I heard a cow. Somebody find it like a cow? How appropriate, you're a dairy farmer. Several minutes later. And another thing, I think the staple gun was completely uncalled for. Be that as it may, you have passed the physical. Really? Oh, don't act so shocked. You'd have to be a palsy-ridden grandmother to fail. Here's your certificate. Feel free to challenge our champion diver whenever you want to dive. I'm still wondering what accent that one guy is going for. It says I'm globally certified and physically fit to compete in any tri and area world diving competitions. And bag, missed anything of importance? Nothing. Nothing at all. Other than I've kind of figured out that I need to glue something to the star buccaneer cup. We just don't have the thing that we now need to glue onto. And also I just got the certification that I can challenge the champion here for a diving contest. If only I can get the hell out of this platform. Use my mind if I can't get off of this thing. Thank you. Transmogrification certificate and diving certificate. It says I'm globally certified and physically fit to compete in any tri and area world diving competitions. Prepare to rage afterwards. Oh, I'm raging already about everything here. I'm not, I'm just not showing it. I'm keeping my cool. Even though I'm hating everything that's happening right now. So, you've managed to get yourself certified. Uh -huh. Ah! I've seen palsy-ridden grandmothers with better qualifying scores. So, are you challenging me to a dive-off then? Hang on. I hate it when it's warm here and I start to sweat. Sweat goes into my ear and itches. Yeah, it happens. I'm a sweaty person. You better believe it. Then, prepare to be humiliated, Mr. Ripwood. I should say easily Marco sweaty. de Pollo is about to attempt a alpha monkey spinning swordsman alpha monkey combination. Let's give him complete silence for this dive. Apple monkey. Okay. 10, 10, 10. Uh-huh. The prank is yours, Threepwood. I think if we try the same thing, we will get lower score than him. Could you go any faster? If I'm pressing the running button doesn't make him go faster. Why must we watch this? Seriously? We have to watch him climb up there? What what the what were they thinking? They look really hungry. No wonder. I don't think there's any fish up here. Well They want fish. Seven. It wasn't that Ooh. bad, was I? Rex. The winner and the Steve all work. I don't know what to make of him. Me neither. Groovy man. Isn't he the guy sworn to protect the golden child? No, that's Eddie Murphy. 
And besides, this wise old judge is not naked. Or running around naked. Oh, chatty, chatty, chad. Welcome to my doom. And pretty much your doom as well. And everybody else's doom. It's doom for everybody here. Not the game. Excuse me. Oh, device. what is your little diver, dude? What was wrong with my last dive? Uh, you really didn't get into the flow of DePoyo's groove, man. Say what? Hey, you gotta match DePoyo's moves if you want to be the dude. But how? Well, basically, there are four types of moves allowed in plank diving, man. Well, first you got the keel haul, you know, a mellow, swan-like move that you can do by lifting your nose up. Keel haul, up. Got it. Next is the rum barrel, man. A somersault move that's easy to do by shoving your chin down into your rum barrel. Down. Check. The third move is the spinning swordsman, man. That's a dangerous vertical spin that should only be started to the spinning swordsman. Right. Okay. Finally, there's the alpha monkey, a chest pounding maneuver that always starts with the left hand. Alpha monkey left. Good. Okay, bro, pay attention to the moves that DePoyo makes, you know, and try and match them. For example, on his last dive, he did a Alpha Monkey. Spinning Swordsman, Alpha Monkey. monkey. Combination. So, if you want to match him, you'd lean. Left, right, left. <laughs> you got it, man. See you later. You got it, dude. Woo! This guy is Thomas Chong. I don't know what he's supposed to be. Uh, pardon me. He is Grasshopper. Don't you mean Glasshopper? Aloha. May your life be big and your splashes be small. And may your racist uh, voice be less racist. Pardon me. What? Why are you giving me such low scores? Look, kid, it's nothing personal. It's just that I've got an expensive red-headed wife, two expensive red-headed kids, and an expensive red-headed dog to feed you. Not really. Then let me spell it out for you. Mr. Mandrill pays me a lot of money to make sure that Mr. DePoyo always wins. Still can um, make if you're Irish or Scottish. The middle man might be Lo Wang. I'm looking for the ultimate insult. You've obviously mistaken me for someone who gives a farthing. A farthing. That sounds Irish. Whatever Mandrill's paying you to fix this contest, I'll double it. I appreciate the sentiment, Junior, but it's obvious that you don't have two shillings to rub together, much less the kind of dough it takes to keep my red-headed wife living in the manner to which she's accustomed. Although he's talking about red-headed people, so that's more of a Scottish thing. Still I'd like to dive now. Tell someone who cares, like Marco de Pollo over there. Wow. I think I'll leave you to your grouchiness. Whatever. Grouchy is all right. Is pretty much. All right. Uh, pardon me. Yes, grasshopper. Stop calling me that. One of your judges is taking bribes. Oh, that is an exceptionally grave charge, young mackerel. Do you have any proof? He told me he was taking bribes. Is anyone here taking bribes? Nope. No way, man. If I were you, I'd refrain from making baseless accusations in the future. Hmm. I wonder how to... I'd like to dive now. Then you should challenge the Poyo directly. Aloha. May your life be be... Excuse me. Oh, what is a little diver, dude? Saw dude. I'd like to dive now. Hey, that's cool, man, but you should tell the Poyo, not me. See you later. You got it, dude. Woo! Yes, because that guy didn't just hear your conversation that took place about a foot away from him. Adventure game logic. What? Please 
stay off the diving plank, man. It's for competitors only. But I am a competitor. I do need that baby seal oil. That's for sure. But I guess I can get it after beating him. That doesn't need a caffeine buzz. Hey, look! Over there! That's what it was. Ugh. We need to make him smell like fish. So the seagulls will disturb Marco de Bello. We can win! See, what can I do for you, Mr. Thrickwood? I'm looking for the pieces of the ultimate insult. What would I know of such things? Perhaps you're not the best person. Perhaps not. I'm ready to dive against you now. Then prepare to be humiliated, Mr. Thrickwood. <laughs> That's what Marco Boyo is about to attempt the spinning swordsman keel haul. Alpha Monkey Combination! Let's okay. give him complete silence for this dive. Right up left. That was a perfect ten. The prank is yours, three foot. I think I did it wrong. Darn. I wasn't that bad, was I? Yes, you were, because I pushed the wrong Rats. thing at first. Oh, there's a big surprise. Oh, what a big surprise. Dirty little sky rats. Shoo, you filthy flying poop factory. I don't want to get bit. I told you not to touch that! Can I use it? I told you not to touch that! Could you use it? Is he like a you could use a dab of the baby seal oil? Wink, wink. Don't you have to prove the judge is taking a bribe before diving? Yeah, that's one of the things I need to do, but I also need to make him take the freaking baby seal oil. Got fish in it. Put the glue on him. Glue? How would glue help in this situation? Now that just trying to put glue on Mr. DePoyo over here works. At some point I will get off this platform. Trust me, it will happen. Just gotta find the perfect pixel to get off of it. There we go. I don't think he'd like that. Yeah, I know. I don't think he'd like that. Darn. I don't think he'd like that. Whew. 
Also, isn't it fun that I got these chopsticks a long time ago, but I still don't have any idea where to use them? I don't think you'd like that. I got a feeling that the chopsticks are just a red herring. I don't think you'd like that. Nope. That bird would steal it from me. Er. I'm back. So I see. I'd like a game. I don't know. He's some. Oh, fine. Just remember. Marco Deployo is about to attempt the Alpha Monkey. Rum Barrel. Alpha Monkey. Combination. Let's give him complete silence for this dive. Let's Frankie's doors, Threepwood. There. What do you mean, old? Cool. Ben. What does this guy have against me? He's bribed. Rants and sex. Come on, Whoa, I flashback, man. How do we prove that this one guy is taking bribes? And also, why can't you just go onto the platform and get out of here? Yeah, I need to change first. It's the changing tent. So we need to somehow prove that the one just judge is taking bribes. We need to find something to stamp onto the mug so we can exchange the real mug with it. Now we need to do something with the boulder on the beach to get the uh, bronze hat. <sighs> Getting the ultimate insult that things are hard. Just try it. Just try what? Try what? What are you talking about, Gabriel? What? Help! What are you talking about? Construct your sentences! I already tried the glue. Why do you want me to try it? Where do you want me to try it? Who do you want me to try it? Why? When? I can't use the glue on people. Guybrush just says that he wouldn't like that because he's trying to give the glue to the person, not use it. <sighs> Sorry about that. It's just a game getting to me. Because the, uh, the, the uh, freaking solutions are not obvious at all. You have to do so many convoluted things to get to the freaking solution. Ladies and gentlemen. Oh, shut up, Mary. Well, you should say that Escape from Monkey Island isn't the happiest game ever. All the other Monkey Island games are good, or great, or fantastic. This is the worst game in the sequence. Abomination, you're my only friend in this game. And you decided to do a whole month of the Monkey Island game, so you brought this upon yourself. I know! You don't need to remind me of it. I promised, promised this months ago. Because I bought the game on GOG when they released it. 
And I say that I will do a month of Monkey Island games where I will play all of them. Ladies and gentlemen, Madame Shut the Monsieur. Mary! God damn. It's also so annoying that you have your... English. Rasp language. Can't. No. If it isn't the map... I'm getting so angry, I need to start talking in Finnish so I can get the frustration out of my system. The peli on niin vittu paska, että tässä ei pysty vittu mitään tekemään, että perkelee helvetti. That actually did help. A little bit. Next I will see... Next month, we'll see Spider-Moi play Taze or Punch for three weeks straight because he loves to torture himself. I have no idea what that game is. But ne next month, I'll actually be torturing myself in a different way. I'll be playing Terror from the Deep. So, where can we get something that we can stamp on to the mug that looks like a silver monkey? How? Haven't you already TFTD'd on stream a few times? Anything new on the playthrough this time? I haven't played TFTD in a year. And I've only played it once in a stream. Taser or punch is where you flip a coin and you either taste yourself or punch yourself. This keeps going until there are no winners. Oh, I see. Never heard of it. Never heard of such a thing before. How would anybody do that to themselves? They gotta be extremely stupid. Oh, you just made it up. Huh. No wonder. We'll watch him play Lynx all amongst to soothe the trauma. I actually played Lynx today just for fun. Only played the four levels though. I just wanted to try it again. Next he'll give in and play Sonic. I will never, ever, ever touch a Sonic game. Ever. Ladies and gentlemen, Madame Zemichur. I'm crazy, I don't want to touch that. Welcome to Planet Threepwood, the piratiest place on Earth. The Telltale Monkey Islands will make up for this game, so I'm not worried. Yep. Once I'm through with this, we will get, get to better games. The Telltale games are fun. And I want to get to them because I haven't played all of the episodes. Never played it fully through episode 4 and I haven't touched episode 5 at all because of it. So I don't even know how the story ends, according to them. I knew it, the pentom pentominoes uh, have sunk their five blocks uh, into your soul. Yep. Just so happy I was able to wake up at stupid old clock to catch a stream. Well, you're welcome. You can never escape. Please don't be uh, uh, declaring anything like that during this game, Gabriel, because it is escape from Monkey Island. Otherwise, I will be playing this game for the rest of my streams. And you would have to be forced to watch. I'll let that sink in for a while. I know you were talking about Lynx, but you know, you didn't specify Lynx there. That's why I'm saying, be careful what you declare. I haven't been sleeping well lately due to stress and physical pain, so at least I have spider what to make me feel less shite this morning. Good. Goody, goody, gumdrops. Now, let's get back to the problems here. The problem is, this game sucks. So, how do we fix this problem? Try to play it through. So, next problem. <sighs> Monkey face mug. Judge bribe. And boulder hat. How do we fix these things? Try the escape key. Well, that wouldn't get me to the menu. F1 is the key to get to the menu. Escape is just for skipping cutscenes and such. Yeah, 
Eldritch, do you remember any of the solutions for these? Alt F4? Well, that would close the game, sure, but I still promised I would play this game, and I'm going to play it thorough. We are not quitting. I ain't, I ain't a quitter. Not to this game. I promised I will play all of the Monkey Island games. I Ladies and gentlemen, to keep madams and messieurs, brigands and wenches, welcome to Planet Threepwood, the piratiest place on... The stone is the easiest. The stone is the getting just three pirates there, right? And then throw your computer into a volcano. I don't want to throw my computer anywhere. My computer is not the problem. It's just the game. I'll just delete it from my computer. That's it. Why would I want to destroy my computer? My computer is my life. Literally, if I lose my computer, I would die inside completely. I'm not picking that up. All the solutions are on that island, so no freaking running around. The other ones, though... Ugh. I'm out of here! If only I could get you two to join me to the boulder. I'm back! Imagine my delight. I'd like to talk some more about your father. Okay. I found the rock your father's hat is buried under. How wonderful. So, you want to help me move the rock? Oh, I'm sorry, I can't. I permanently threw my back out the last time I moved that rock. My days of lifting heavy objects are officially over. Well, you need no oh, rats. I'll have to find some other way of getting rid of that rock. Yeah. I know. It's too bad Admiral Kasaba confiscated all our explosives. Mm -hmm. This is obviously a. Don't get goodbye. I see. Have you played this game before, Chad? I have a. I have a strict rule of no spoilerinos or backseat. If you know the game, that is. But if you don't know the game, I'm open for ideas. I mean, if I don't remember a solution, do let me try to get the solution. Only give me hints or such if I ask for them. Those are the rules on my stream. You did ask. I didn't ask straight for a hint. I was just going through the problems that we are facing right now. But I didn't say that give me the solution. I didn't ask for a hint. I was just I was just thinking out loud. There's a difference. Giving hints not related to the games is okay. Hmm. Yeah, Goblin still got that joke going on. Any day now. Time rush. Any day. I know sometimes the slow wins the race, but not with this game. Uh, excuse me, sir. Make it quick, Threepwood. I can't afford to let. Uh, yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Do you really fling? Of course. It's the only way to st Even now. I can really? Oh, I can. I think. Good lad. I don't think he'd like that. Oh, the judge is actually on the brochure. Okay. So now we know how to sort out the judge. Well. Cool. 
Soak your nails in salt water to grow them long and strong. I don't think he'd like that. They're aimed at that beach. I seem to be on the unpleasant end of the cannon, and using it would probably not be a health-conscious thing to do. I'm not picking that up. I'm not picking that up. I have my own ship. And besides, I refute. And then again, my ship is pink. Yup. Never drive your head into a wood plank. Those are not hints that you're giving. Those are just, you know, facts. Or guidelines to life. Not hints. And don't do planking. <laughs> planking is a dumb thing. Never understood it. Never lock yourself into a, in a wooden box and then nail it shut and then throw it off a cliff. How would you do that on yourself if you're already in the box? And how do you nail it shut from the inside? Questions that nobody will ever answer. Why? Because we don't care. It's just a joke. Like, this whole game is just a joke. A very bad joke that leaves a sour taste in everyone's mouth. So he confiscated all the explosives, so that's not gonna work. We, we are never gonna get them. This game is extremely long. Yes, it is. I mean, we're still in Act 2. But there's two more acts, like in any, any other Monkey Island game. Or I should say any other, well, ev every previous Monkey Island games. They've had four or five chapters or acts. The koala looks sad. It's no wonder it's in this game. So not like movies that usually have three acts. Yeah. It's not a movie, it's a game. So there's there's the difference. Icor! I'm out of here! Well, Eldritch, to say that the solutions... All solutions are on that island. Well, the solution for this is on this island. If my clever use of the ferrets was correct, the bronze hat is under this immense rock. I'm not trading this to anyone. I won't risk putting this card into play unless it's absolutely necessary. A game plot can follow a traditional three-act movie plot if they develop it right. True. Greetings in the robot. You even mentioned the solution yourself a while back ago. You mean while ago back. Back a while ago. English is a language. Maiming! No, 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 no. You're Do you have the dance cap? No, no. because the guy virtually refuses to pick it up. Yep, this game makes me dumb. And makes everybody dumb. I'm no dunce. See? I'm no dunce. I'm no dunce. I'm no dunce. Pointy. Probably not a good idea. Darn it. Well, become one. Huh. And also, Ian, no backseating, no giving hints, no spoilerinos. Not from now on. <laughs> Those are just my rules when playing games. If I don't. Uh, if I ask for help, then you can give me help. Otherwise, just enjoy my dumbness. Don't give me hints, don't give, try to guide me anywhere or anything. Just watch me trying to figure out things out and get myself frustrated until I do ask for help. But actually, that's a, uh, something I didn't think of. Uh, Miss Rivers? Yes, Mr. Threepwood? 
I'd like to take another whack. Well, what? I uh, is. Oh. Welcome back, class. I can see that all three. Let's begin. Yes, ma'am. Your tofu. Skip all uh, this. Uh, I've done this so many now times then. now. Yes, Miss Rivers? While delivering Christmas toys. Christmas toys. I dump the toys, hoist the Jolly Roger, plunder the ship, decapitate their captain, and set fire to the bloody husk. Well, I never. <laughs> right, you are hardcore. Now, Mungo. Yes? After drinking too much grog... I, uh, I make a joke! I... In tr Okay, so guy brush. Yes? A member of the opposite sex rebuffs your advances. How do you cope? Well, in, while you're in that one room, use that one item on the other thing. Will make you solve the game quicker. Yes, I told what did I say about the spoilers. And back -shading. I transform myself into an undead creature of unrelenting evil, terrorizing the seven seas in my never-ending quest to make her my bride. Ah! Oh my! Oh, that's cool, man. Mungo. Yes, um. Your captain has plotted a course direct. I uh, inform the captain of our misgivings and hope he listens. Hmm. And Yanya? Yes, Miss Rivers. You see a man a cop. I make a mental note. Ah, alrighty then. Mungo. Yes, ma'am. A scruffy looking stranger. I uh accept the drink. Ah. Now, yes, ma'am. A stranger approaches. I politely give the stranger the Okay. And finally, Mr. Yes. While reading a book of poetry. I hunt down and kill everyone who's ever checked out the book. Then, after I kill their families, their friends, and their pets, I seek out the treasure. Arr! True pirate. Jumpin' Jehoshaphat! Ooh, you're gonna get it. Um, Miss Rivers, Guybrush is scaring me. <laughs> well, I've added up all your scores, and I must say that I'm very unhappy. Mungle and Yang Ya, I'm afraid you failed again. Rats! And then we have Guybrush. Mm -hmm. Guybrush, Guybrush, Guybrush. I've been teaching this course for months, and I can safely say that you're the single worst student I've ever met. I've picked lint out of my belly button with more learning potential than you. Wow. Harsh. Now. In order to guarantee that you never darken my school's doorstep again, and to stigmatize you for the rest of your... I'm strapping this dunce cap to your stubborn pirate head in the hopes that humiliation will succeed where education failed. Now get out of my classroom and never return! Yeah, I may be a dunce, but at least I'm a mighty pirate dunce. Well, I don't need to go there anymore. Right. And also, apparently you don't know Guybrush. He's been humiliated a lot worse before. Many times. This is nothing to him. Well, at least we have the dance cap now. For reasons. Me? Well, yes, but I think you need to rest. There's a I'm lot of... Uh, there's a lot of graphical glitches with the emulation. Yeah. Because this game, this engine doesn't work with uh, today's computers at all. So, there's a lot of, there's been tons of glitches like that in the game. I mean, characters on the wrong layer, walking through items, uh, things twisting around in the wrong way. So yeah, everybody's like a, uh, like a character from The Exorcist. Heads turning around, at least they're not spewing pea soup everywhere. Okay, so you have to microwave the hot sauce and combine it with the severed donkey's head and then do the rain dance on the beach when the two, where the two elephants are throwing monkeys at each other. I think you're thinking of the wrong game. But still a good solution. Is this the GOG version? Yes. Except I am playing it through residual VM. The problem with the problem with the GOG version is that I cannot set it up for the OBS because you cannot alt tab out of the game. So I have to use the residual VM and everybody knows that the residual VM is not the best for this game because it causes a lot of glitches as you have seen. But hey, at least the game still works. 
not too many bugs and glitches being around. At least the game has never crashed at any point. That was me knocking on the wood. So yeah, those glitches happen all because of residual BM. You need to go catch some fish. Then I also get Gavin free. Pointy. And if I push the right button, that will be. I'd missing. rather not. I'd rather not. I'd rather not. If my clever use of the ferrets was correct, the bronze hat is under this immense rock. And in one memorable, memorable case, the light cone actually being visible when the guy brushes model walked into an area program for dynamic light and shadow. Yep. It made made it look like guy brush was wearing a dress. Yep. It's exactly what it did. Like I said, because of the residual VM, there's a lot of glitches in the game. And they being the like. Uh, Upgrading, updating, upgrading residual VM for years and it still doesn't work properly. So I have to go pick up a new second hand car today. A new second hand car. I hope that goes well. I hope it's a good car. I hope I can get everything from here so I can do this puzzle. Eldritch says as everything is on this island that I need to get the boulder. Did you buy it from Stan? Got the wife a new van for all the kids. I hope it's a good car too. Cool. A Kia Carnival. Should be good enough. Although I don't know anything about cars, so I'm just saying that it could, should be good enough. I'm not a car person. Never have been, never will be. Don't understand about cars, and don't care about cars that much. Cars are just not my thing, you know. It's mostly because technologically dumb. Neither am I. I hate driving even though I have a license. I don't hate driving at all. I just don't care about the, the models of cars, the names of cars, what goes into cars, all the stats and such. And in a pleasant twist of events, this one is a manual. Looking forward to driving a manual again. Very nice. I have uh, I have driven both manual and automatic. Automatic was weird. Because we don't have many automatic cars in Finland. It's mostly manual here. But it was an experience to drive a manual car. It certainly was an experience. I would have to say a pleasant experience. And I'm still more used to manual. Some people obsess over their cars to the point where it's a goddamn religion for them, yeah? And I don't care. If somebody starts reading what the horsepower they have, what kind of an engine head has and all that, um, it's just... I don't care about that stuff. The last four cars we have owned have been Odo. My car is a sports Odo, but I miss using a clutch. My bike has almost 50 horsepower. Good. I guess. I mean, even if you say how many horsepower it has, to me it's just... I'm out of here! They put the car manual in the top drawer in the hotel to pray. At least the uh, lying parrot has sobered up. I'd rather not. Eldridge? Am I even closer to getting the solution? How warm or cold it is here. Since I got the dunce hat. I'll just be 
running in a circle here. Hold here, right? Do I have everything I need? Yep. Okay. Yeah, I don't think that would help anything. 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 <sighs> so all I just need to get to the boulder and start doing this, right? I'm out of here! Honestly, a wild shot in the dark, but that guy has parrots on his shoulder. Do you have to use the parrot call? Done it. Been there, done that already, Chad. Everything you need for the next step. I mean, I found the boulder already. Now, I see what you're saying, but let's try to focus on sleep. Well, yes, but I think you need to rationalize. Mate, now you're just being obstinate. What's important here is you again. Come on, let me talk to the... Talk to the hand, you nosy scupper scraper. Then... Get off of the hand, so I can talk to him? Do you know anything? You ought to never! But I said... If you're... I... You again. Do you know anything else about the ultimate insult? It destroyed my ego. What more do I need to know? I guess you're right. Can I talk to... Uh, Albert? Please, stop bothering me. I'm harmless, really. I think I'll leave you alone. Thank you, kind sir. You're welcome, I guess. Icor! Right, Land shark. now we're getting somewhere. Let's move on to blood. I see what you're saying, but I think we need a bigger game. A bigger game. A better game. game is hard with its uh, puzzles. I think because the game is dumb. Puzzles. Or maybe yes, I'm dumb. I think I'm not picking that up. Maiming. I'm not picking that up. Blood. No, 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 no. I'm you're not picking that up. The importance of maiming. I see what you're saying, but let's try to focus on more wrenching. You again. So I have to do it this every time. When first him, then the other, and then the puppeteer. See ya. I I'm out of here. Apparently, I apparently I broke him because he's not doing the shtick anymore. Now he's doing it. Right. I'm not picking that up. So I'm missing an item, huh? There's something else you can get here. Do you need a flamethrower for the puppets? I don't know what I need. I need a better game, that's for sure. I'm out of here! Sorry about that. Those things really don't go together. I was hoping that you could use them as incense burners. Incense burners. I'd rather not. Nothing else to burn here. Except the whole game. <sighs> Warm or cold with the campfire. I'm not picking that up.
Cannonball? Cold or warm? Cold in this screen. The whole screen is cold. Okay. Warmer? Searching! I think we're getting off track here. Then let's get back to violence. Right, now we're getting somewhere. Let's move on to wenches! Now you're just being obstinate. What's important here is more wenches! No, 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 no. You're forgetting the importance of scratching! Well, that's obvious, naturally. But what about pitting? Now you're just being obstinate. What's important here is you again. Am I warm here? If you're held be- Hi! You again? Warm indeed. Can I talk to the puppeteer again? Uh, all right. Helbert, please, stop bothering. I'm hot. I think I'll leave you alone. Thank you, kind sir. Do I need to use an item on him or something? I'm not trading Mening. this to anyone. Right, now we're getting somewhere. Right. Let's move on to... Shadow Fried! I see what you're saying. No way! I'm not showing to this to anyone or anything. Wrenching. No, 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 no. You're forgetting the... I'd rather not. Puppets have no need for right. this. Right, now we're getting somewhere. Let's move on to... Scratching! What in the world am I supposed to do? I'm guessing that? that there's nothing of much value in here anymore. I think we're getting off track here. Then let's get back to sheep. I got a feeling that I need to do something here. I just don't know what. Well, indirect hints that, are good. But what about Shadow Fried? I now want an indirect obvious. hint. What's now. important here is maiming. Well, yes, but I think you need to rationalize. Wenches! Right, now we're getting somewhere. Let's move on to more wenches. Now you're just being obstinate. What's important here is maiming. You again. If you I you again. Can I? Helbert, please stop. I'm hot. Do you know anything about the ultimate insult? The, the, the ultimate insult? <laughs> you again. I did talk to him about that before. That's what he does. Do you know? You'll never. But I, if you, I, you again. Do you know anything? It destroyed. I guess you're right. Can I? If you, he's not much of a conversationalist. I've noticed. Uh, you wait. See ya. Bye. Pretty much gone through all the conversations here. Scratching. I'm now sure he'd enjoy looking at this if he wasn't a puppet. Flatulence! Well, that's all gotcha. naturally. But what about you again? If I. You again? Can I. Helbert, please, I'm. I think I'll leave. Thank you, Kat. Could you help me find this? <laughs> What's that? It's a picture of the ultimate insult. <laughs> The ultimate insult! Ah! Ah! Well, apparently he does know hey, about it. Hey, you forgot your puppets! Gee, guess that was just the kind of breakthrough he needed to mend his shattered psyche. That's okay. That helped. This little Guybrush puppet sure is cute. On the other hand, literally, this LeChuck puppet is downright creepy. At least I got my secondary yeah, I put pirates. This away before Kasaba flings a cannonball at me. Now well, let's go get that freaking treasure. Or the bronze. Thing. Yeah, goblin. Calm I'm down. Here. Just calm down, goblin. Calm down. 
I was wrecking my brain how to hint that without much hinting. <laughs> sparkle, sparkle. This game just earned my respect. Goblin. 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 Are you there? Are you, are you listening to me? I don't know what to do, Chad, but I'm I need to speak with Goblin right now. You just did not write that, did you? You just did not write that. The sentence that you wrote is so wrong that I should demod you. This game does not earn anybody's respect in any situation. It doesn't deserve anybody's respect. You're lowering yourself as a human being. Retract that sentence immediately. If you don't, we're not friends anymore. Puts the dunce cap on Goblin. Mm -hmm. Like you demoted me? Did I demod you? I didn't demod you. Why did it demod you? I didn't even notice that it demoted you, Chad. I thought I kept you as a mod. Did I accidentally did that? Huh. I don't remember ever. Chad was a mod. I made him into a mod. I don't remember ever demoding you. Just happy to be here. Well, that's good enough. For, that's good enough for me. <laughs> that one tiny two-second part earned my respect. The rest of the ten hours are still bad. I thought I thought I told you to retract that. You now you have now said it twice, Goblin. You have 20 seconds to comply. Actually, when you said that second time, you have now 15 seconds to comply. Retract that sentence immediately or I will have to use force against you. I retract my statement. Good. Hey, Hero Wolf. This game is horrible. Period. That's where you need to leave it. This game is horrible. No, it wasn't before your time, Gabriel. I just made a chat at one point as a mod. Maybe because I wasn't around for a couple of weeks? Maybe. Could be. Maybe it automatically demods people if they're not around for a long while. Could be. I made him a mod about early December, I think. Not even puppets can make this game good. There you go, that's better. Pretty sure this is the best game ever conceived. <laughs> there was no Kappa at the end, so that's not a joke, I guess. I know he's trolling. I know Ian is just being a trolly troll. I'm not really fussed. I'm just happy to be here. Yep. This little Guybrush puppet sure is cute. And on the other... Well... Time to blow Hi up there, the little guybrush. Hi there, big guybrush. Hi there, little Lechuck. Arr, ahoy there, big guybrush. What's on your mind, little guybrush? I 
think Ozymandro's an evil meanie. I think that's a bit harsh, little Guybrush. What do you think, little Lechuck? I think little Guybrush should learn to sleep with one ping-pong ball eye open. Oh, yeah? Yeah! Now, boys. A moral lout. Defeat doily sniffer. <laughs> Unemployed layabout. Guys. Pirate poser. <laughs> Uncultured corpse. Girly man. Uh, I really think that's loud enough to catch Kasaba's attention. Jerk! Idiot! Nimrod! Dark! <sighs> I've obviously got some deep-seated issues to work out here. Indeed you do. Spaz! Jerk! Idiot! Nimrod! Dark! Why, those, those ignorant anarchist savages! How dare they plot against my benevolent tyranny! Simkins, wheel out the really big cannon! Do we have to, sir? Our ears are still ringing from the last time. I've had just about enough of your pusillanimous insubordination, Simpkins. Now roll out the really big cannon and blow up those terrorists this instant. Holy crap. Aye, aye, sir. Fire! So much more of the puppets. Wow, here it is. The bronze hat of Tiny Lafitte. Yay. Got it. Now that's quite the hole that we left. Now also, how has the crater gone up? Nah, that happens. It's the tiny bronze pirate hat of a tiny bronze pirate. Awesome. We got one part of the ultimate insult now. Time to get the rest. It's the boat I brought from Jambalaya Island. Trademark. I mean, the conversation is interesting. Well, the conversation is over. Also, really? This compass is in the way? Uh. That's the pirate light town I arrived at. <sighs> so, God damn, I hate getting into this town. Where do the real pirates? Let's get to the diving contest first because I know how to do that now. I know, Ian. I know. I just prefer to do it up there. Guy brush, will you get to the freaking diving? Pluck your mm -hmm. <laughs> That was one serious audio glitch during the cutscene. Really? Was there an audio glitch in during the cutscene? You mean there wasn't a quit glitch, uh, so it was Twitch then? Yeah. At least I didn't notice anything. Did it even drop frames? So, now where is that brochure? Must have been a Twitch glitch. Why are you showing me this? I don't rightly know. Hey, there's a picture of that grouchy diving judge in here, but that blonde he's with is definitely not his lovely red-headed wife. Now we know. Watch this. It's a brochure for Stan's Jambalaya Timeshare Emporium. Yeah? So? Take a look at page three. Yikes! I think your red-headed wife would be very interested to find out about the time you've been sharing with this blonde, don't you? You got it all wrong, kid. She's just a friend of the family. Really? Really? Huh. Well, then I guess your wife won't mind if I share the brochure. Wait! Stop! What do you want? What's it worth to you? I've got money, jewels, property, anything. Just don't tell my wife. Fine. All I want is a fair diving competition. That's all. Really? Really. Do we have a deal? Deal. It won't do you any good, though. DePoyo's too good to be beaten by a flat-headed loser like you. Well, we'll see about that, Mr. Grouchy Grouch. It was on repeat for 10 seconds, and it was at the point where the guy fired the cannon. It was a glitch on your Twitch, then.
because I haven't had any frame drops or anything, so it was just Twitch glitching. So what else do we need to do with the baby seal oil? How can we make him use it? I don't even remember where that Bernie thing is from anymore. It's been such a long time. Gabriel remembers it, but I don't. Well, I did put the fish into it. Bernie is an inside joke coming from the something that we watched together, but I don't remember what it was or where it is from. Translation device from I have no mouth and I'm a scream. Oh yeah, from uh, from Ellen's. From Ellen's scenario, she had to use a translation device in what's called Bernie. We needed we needed to block in Bernie to make the translation, and Gabriel has been, has been using that ever since. I'm back. So I see. I'd like to die. I, I don't know. Oh, fine. Just Marco Di Pollo is about to attempt a kill horn. Rum barrel kill horn combination. Let's give him complete silence for this time. I do not envy you, Mr. Threepwood. Cool. Ben? Ben? It's nice to see that good old-fashioned blackmail still works in some parts of this modern world. Rants. Hmm. Oh! Here's a big surprise. So, why the low score? Me. Here's Grasshopper. Well, what was wrong with my last dive? The perfect dive should leave no trace of the diver upon the water. As you seek perfection in your dives, seek perfection in your splashes. Uh, are you saying that my splashes are too big? Yes. You might try making your form more uh, aerodynamic, like that of a swordfish. Fish are aerodynamic? They can be. Aloha. May your. That's why he says, yeah, may your splashes be small. So now we use the baby oil. If we can, get to the baby oil. Nope. Think aerodynamic. I need wings to fly like an eagle. The dance cap? Makes sense. I'm back. So I s I'd like to. Oh, Marco. Pollo. <sighs> All right. Marco de Pollo is about to attempt a spinning swordsman, alpha monkey, spinning swordsman combination. Let's give him complete silence for this dive. Okay, 10, 10, and 10. Yeah, upside down 10. Or one. I was wrong. I will enjoy defeating you again. Yeah, sure. I'll show you how this is done.
Roxy. Cool. Good. We got cheers. Looking good. Whoa, dudes, this is unprecedented. The newcomer has tied Marco de Pollo. What happens now? We move on to the tiebreaker round. Which Scissors rock paper? You wish. In this round of dives, you will go first, and the boy will try to match your dive. Well, he won't you do that. You have shown that you can mimic my moves, Mr. Threepoor, but I doubt that you can concoct a dive that I cannot perform. We'll just see about that, dive monkey. Very well. The prank is yours. All right, let's get to work. The location is a thing we love, a thing we never shirk. It doesn't matter what I do here, we're gonna win automatically, because we tampered with things. Cool. It's nice to see that good old-fashioned <coughs> blackmail still works in some parts of this modern world. Looking good. Now try and beat that. Nice dive, Mr. Freepwood. If you'll excuse me for a moment. Yeah, use that baby seal oil. Nothing bad will happen What to Marco you. doesn't know is that we've replaced his regular baby seal oil with Star Buccaneer Schmearwiz. Let's watch. Now, my friend, prepare to watch a master in action. Now, Marco de Pollo will attempt to beat Guy Brush Freepwood's dive. Let's give him complete silence for this dive. Shh. What? Shoot! Go away! The Grouch is still gay in that 10. Ladies and the gentlemen! The new all-world plank diving champion is... Uh... Guybrush Threepwood! I protest! That was not a fair dive! I want a rematch right now! I am Marco de Puyo! The greatest prank diver in the world! Not anymore. Marco. Polo! Who said that? Marco. Polo! Stop it! I will not be mocked! Marco! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Polo! Guybrush? That was mean! I cheat. Like I wonder how Elaine's doing. Good question. How's the election going? I think they're voting. Hi, hey, thanks for coming out to vote. Remember, a vote for me is a vote against Demon Spawn Hell Pirates. Thanks for your support, citizen. Good times and free grog are just around the corner. Don't vote for Charles. He's really LeChuck, the demon zombie ghost pirate from hell. Oh, give it up, Mrs. Threepwood. Everybody knows that LeChuck is dead and that your husband killed him. You'll have to excuse her, Mr. Charles. Think nothing of it, my good man. <laughs> ah, ah, there, there you see? Charles is LeChuck. Look! They won't believe you, no matter how you well, try. Well, that should just about wrap things up. I think I'll go pack my bags and get ready to move into the governor's mansion. <laughs> Poor Elaine. Well, we got two pieces of the ultimate insult now. It's a golden trophy of a man in a classic arms overhead diving pose. I don't know what to make of him. Well, you can make of him a brooch, maybe a hat. One of these days, I will get here. What are you still doing there? Dirty little sky rats. I don't want to get bit. Shoo, you filthy flying poop factory. Automatically changed. So, the last one left is the freaking silver mug. What do I do with you? I'm not even sure if I know if I have all of the stuff that I need to change you into the mug that we need. I 
Activate the Archaeus Emerald. <sighs> I don't like Sonic. Hey there, noob. Seagulls are annoying as fuck. Yeah. They can be. Especially if you're at the seashore or the docks and trying to enjoy food. That's when they're the most annoying. Whee! Back broken. You're having back pains, and that's why you are here. You can't sleep. I'm assuming. Micro groggery. Personally, I prefer the macro sized grogs. Sorry to hear that, man. Nothing is worse than trying to go to sleep and then you get back pains. Trust me, I've had those. Years. Happens to... Happens sometimes. Not often, but it can happen sometimes. Especially if I don't sun... You know, work. That causes... To agitate the back. Then it's impossible to get some sleep. Because you're in constant pain. Played hockey, did two takeaways, and both led uh, to goals, then broke my back. Ugh. Well, I wouldn't say that you broke your back, but at least, well, agitated it. I mean, if you broke your back, that means that you're now paralyzed. Hopefully that's not true. Get the strong back DLC. Now you should get the strong back uh, perk. You can carry more stuff. I'm assuming I don't have the item. I don't have the item with me right now to do this, right? Am I missing something? Very obvious again. At least Eldritch said that this is going to rage induce. This is a rage inducing puzzle. I would just, just say that my back is hitting some nerve, yeah. That's exactly the kind of back pain that I have had. Hits the nerve and then it... Uh, if it isn't the master... Then I get that... The... the uh, what's it called? Reflective pain? That it... Even if the pain is supposed to be on your back, but it reflects into something else. And it usually reflects into my left leg. And it feels like my left leg is in constant pain when it's just the nerves in the back all jumbled up. You have all you need, just stupid monkey island logic again. Your stomach aches. Mm. It's the worst. And usually, oh, like I said, for Set me it's the left the leg. Pond at Planet Threepwood. See souvenirs of Guybrush Threepwood's most famous escapade. And it is really annoying when you're trying to just lay down and try to get some sleep, but your left leg is in constant pain when it's really in your the pain is in your back. But it really feels like my whole left leg is in constant pain. Try to walk it off and do all kinds of stretches, but it takes a while for it to go away. My body was straight, but it hurt the most. So I have all I need. Just stupid logic again. I don't think that would help anything. 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 Okay, just the glue doesn't work. I need to go and buy something else. I don't think that would help anything. I don't think that would help anything. Okay. I don't think that would help anything. 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 Am I warm with my solution here? Trying to combine stuff? 
I don't think that would help anything. 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 He cleanses wounds over his ears. I don't think that would help anything. I don't think that would help anything. I don't think that would help anything, Gabriel. You still need to read it. Hey, this Star Buccaneers logo mug looks like it's about the same shape and size as the Silver Monkey mug. Okay. That's a good idea, but I think it would be easier to put the glue on whatever I want to stick to it. And now I can glue something? That's a good idea, but I think it would be easier to put the glue on whatever I want to stick to it. The one you're after, I mean. Uh, so I need to get it first and then do this. Gotcha. Excuse me. Hi, I'm a I think what a lip. Guy brushes mighty pipe. I thought it. And to dirt. Largo's good choice. And how will you? Check out this. Very good, sir. Please note that due to the unexpected, however, you will still. Re I guess I should go sit down. All right, show us the mug, so then we can do this. It's a silver mug that looks a lot like a monkey head. Spooky. They look similar, but I don't think they're quite that dumb here. Oh, freaking itches. Yeah, I would rather not make that sticky. He means the flat earthers. Hey there, Slade the Black Mage. At least I think that was the correct order. Maybe you could do it without. Hmm. Uh, not to make things too complex, this location got all you need. Okay. Apparently, Australia doesn't exist, and people who live there are actors paid by NASA. Hmm. I don't think that would help anything. That's a good idea, but I think it would be easier to put the glue on whatever I want to stick to it. I don't think that would help anything. 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 Be lurking for a while. I hope you have been enjoying the gameplay. It's a silver mug that looks a lot like a monkey head. Spooky. Hey, hey! That complimentary monkey mug meal doesn't come with a complimentary monkey mug. Uh, I wasn't gonna keep it, really. There must be some way to grab it, but make them think it's still here. That's what I'm trying to do here, Guybrush. Should I get you started like Chad did? At least, can you give me some kind of a hint? Am I even on the right track with the glue? Is it something else that I need to pick up in the place? Although you did say that I have everything that I need. Just talk to the tourist again, and I think you'll get the puzzle. At least I still have one coupon left. Unless that stays there. No, it doesn't stay there. Still got one coupon in me pocket. Pardon me. Ah, uh, yeah. I'm still. Well, maybe I can help ya. 
You think the silver monkey mug is one of the pieces, huh? I'd risk half my hit points on it. Oh, yeah. Uh, I've had just about... Well, fine. But I am... Oh, the real guy wears a hat dripping with the blood and he has the ghost of his favorite... Wow. I'm... That didn't help me. I'm still... Well, maybe I can help you. One of the... Uh, that sounds like my yellow Avenger. I... One of... <laughs> uh, well... Uh, bye bye now. Looks like they managed to get their hands on some of Elaine's stuff. Glove, music box, plastic ice cream cone. Uh, Elaine's gonna have an aneurysm when she finds out about this. I thought he would mention the mug. Well, he didn't say that the silver mug is the solution to uh, that is the piece for the ultimate insult. That's uh, the only thing. Excuse me. You already got. There's nobody here. Bet there's someone here when a customer tries to leave, though. If anyone should eat here for free, I'm not picking that up. Oh. I can't reach it. I have to look this up now. Yep, this seems like the kind of solution that is just dumb. We're missing something very obvious. We're just all too dumb for this extremely genius game. I mean, they were so smart. I'm not picking that up. I can't use this. I wonder what the secret is. Eh, who cares anyway? Could be the secret to Monkey Island and her. Gabriel fastens his blinders shut and puts on several layers of fly masks to block out the annoying puzzle and stop himself from looking up those tempting spoilerinos. <laughs> well, Eldritch is looking them up right now. I'm just waiting for Eldritch's reaction to the solution, just to see how rage inducing it will be. All I want is just a silver bug so I can stop the stream. I want to leave it at that. Be done with this ultimate insult. Well, the whole game is an ultimate insult already. To the whole franchise, I mean. Not to us. Or just us. I mean, there always has to be kind of a black sheep in the franchises. This is Monkey Island's black sheep for sure. Such a disgrace of a game. To such a glorious series. The sooner everybody forgets the existence of Escape from Monkey Island, the better. There's only one, two, curse. And then Telltales. Why can't we just knock this on the head? Because I promised I will play all Monkey Island games. And I'm keeping my promise, Goblin. I will not just leave this here or anywhere i will play this through because you need to see the ending the ending is the worst part of this game you need to see it which is worse though monkey island 4 or star control 3 i'd say this Don't know how to hint this at all, so just try to give your fake mug to the caricature guy. Okay. I don't think he'd like that. 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 Excuse me. You already got a cat. Oh, now he's moonwalking. Cool. Stop staring at me. I broke him. Help! 
Never played any of the star controls. One and two are great. Well, one is pretty much just a melee game oh, I made and skirmish with a little bit of scenarios, but the Star Control 2 is a open world game, which is great. I don't, I don't think he liked. Uh, I don't think he liked. I don't think he liked that. you learn to fly? Where did you learn to fly? Where did you learn to solve puzzles? Actually, the question would be, where did you learn to make puzzles? We need to get rid of that old drawing, but no clue how. Anyone else know? I don't think he'd like that. I don't think she'd like that. I don't think he'd like that. He made me look all goofy and cartoony with a sword and a parrot on my shoulder, swinging a dead mouse. I tried to get rid of it before in the campfire, but he wouldn't let go of it. <sighs> Who would like a caricature? This game is so dumb! Almost makes me want to go and look for a solution to this game. No, I'm not certainly not looking for a solution to this puzzle. Not at all. What do you think I'm trying to do here? Uh, at least this, is, this game only has three acts, but we're still in act two. So we're pretty much uh, pretty much halfway through the game or even over. the solution no, I don't need to show her that excuse me hi I'm a yeah I'm ready to order how and to I'll have a, a pot and how will you check out check it out very good, sir. Please note that, however, yeah, yeah, I yeah. guess I should go sit down. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. I swear this game is actually making me dumber in real life now. Well, well no, I'm not a big surprise. Okay, so what we do need to do is pick it up. I don't think he'd like that. Really? After all the work I went through to get this thing, there's no way I'm just gonna drink from it. Hey, hey! That uh, I wasn't gonna keep it, really. Okay, so if we there just... There must be some way to... Excuse me. There we go. You already got... But I want one with me in the monkey mug. Oh, all right. There we go. What's your favorite pirate activity? I love the smell of gunpowder in the morning. It's 
smells like victory. Of course, gunpowder in the late afternoon tends to smell a little more like weak old macaroni, which is why I always try to have my gun battles before lunch. You know what else I like about pirates? They're wacky, madcap accessories. Pegs, patches, parrots, hooks. They're just so darned whimsical. What's your favorite pirate accessory? Let's see. <sighs> I've never met a pirate who didn't love his eye patch. Although I suppose they'd love to have their eyes back even more. You know what I can't figure out about pirates? I shudder to think. What well, do they no. do in their spare time? They can't spend their entire life. Uh, I... Of course not. So, what do you think pi of, of course, under the eye patch, you do have a working eye in, in there. The eye patch wasn't just an accessory to cover up that you have lost an eye. It was actually a useful thing. I think that most of them just like to curl up by the fire with a good book. Of course, they usually just throw the book in the fire, but still. Books. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. Done. Here you are, sir. I hope you did draw the bug in it. That's what we need. Just the bug. Thank you for your patronage, and enjoy your visit to the happiest island on Earth. Thanks. Yay. The old, out with the old and in with the new. It's a reasonably good caricature of me with the silver monkey mug, with a pistol and an eye patch, reading a book down by the fire. If this picture was on an actual mug, it could actually pass as the real thing, if it was dark, and the person looking was stupid. And I ripped my face out of the picture first. What? So, what? Let's try to combine these things then. Now I can stick this on something. So let's stick that to the mug. Gee, this might actually pass as the real thing. Thank you for covering the eye patch's actual purpose. Save me a post. Yep. I mean, I do know this thing. I mean, it was said to help eye eye sight, night vision. That's why they covered one eye, because when they climbed on top of a ship. Tried to raid it during the night. They just took the eye patch up and they could see better. I hate this game so much now. <laughs> Only now. I've been hating this game since uh, stream number two. Or maybe even stream number one. Actually, I hated this game even before I started streaming.